It's Dan Dannemuller with Crappie Now Magazine. How to rig your boat, electronics and mapping. We're going to talk about mapping on the units. And this particular one I'm using today is a Garmin, but you could have Hummingbird, you could have Lowrance. But what I really like about this unit, I'm going to show you some of the things that you need to know about mapping and where to place your transducers in your boat. The mapping that we use electronically in our boats, or whether they're handhelds, are contingent basically on how well does the unit portray that map for you and how much detail and how accurate are the waypoints and the points that are showing on the map in relation to where you're at. Some of the key things you want to make sure of when you rig your boat is that always keep a unit. If you're using an electronic unit in the front end of your boat, make sure you have GPS and, and now the big word is chirp, which is high def in mapping so that you have it up front so that the trolling motor where your transducer probably is in the front uh, is where you're marking the waypoints so it has uh, the GPS module in the transducer in today's world or in the unit so therefore you want to make sure that if you mark it up front and it shares it to the back unit that you remember that that particular GPS unit when you're fishing after you've marked it you keep that in mind when you're up front in front of the boat. We now have the capability to have a transducer on the back end of the boat and inside the boat. And some of the key elements that you want to make sure that you consider when mounting these transducers is you're going to start hearing a lot about high speed mapping both in the elites on the bass side and on the crappie side where we can cover more water and you can too by going while you're running like we used to do a long time ago and be able to use side scan and down view and your maps to help you to do that. And what we're doing on mapping in today's world is we're making sure that the GPS unit that's right here at our driver console is extremely close to us. We used to have to mount the actual GPS transponder right near us wherever we were at to make sure we weren't 20 feet to the bow away from when we did the mark. So we could be off that much if we did it that way. So in today's world Everything is coming with the units where they're already GPS loaded or the transducers you're using for this unit or right where you're at. In this case, in this boat, uh, we have the transducer for running and mapping while I'm using the console it is predominantly inside the boat right behind me. So I know exactly how far off from this unit I am every time I mark a waypoint. If you're going to have down scan and side scan where it's external to the boat, which you can't get from internal of the boat mounts, uh, normally if I'm using the console, I'll set that up on the back end of the boat. If I'm using the trolling motor, I'll put it on the trolling motor somehow, either on the motor, or on the on the shaft, or the foot of the of the trolling motor itself. Make sure that these units all coincide and that information shares between your console unit and your front unit so that you're seeing waypoints no matter where you made the marks. So just remember in mapping when you're going to map waypoints and you're going to map the area you're going to go into be aware of where the transducer is, where that GPS center is for the unit you're using and make sure that you're using that distance when you're going out taking a look at the item or brush pile, uh, whether it's a bridge, whatever it may be in structure, make sure you remember that. Until next time, it's Dan Downey with Crappie Now Magazine. Keep these things in mind when you're setting up your boat.